Joining us live from Washington tonight is our local Republican Congressman Brian Bill Bray. Congressman, thanks for joining us tonight. Great to be with you tonight. Now, the GOP fought Obamacare, as it's called, ferociously. I guess uh, on a night like tonight, is it hard to spin this as a victory for those who opposed it so vehemently? No, I think it's a real victory for the insurance companies. Everybody forgets that they get a mandate, um, they get a guaranteed tax. Uh, Americans are required to buy their products now, and that's why when you saw the health care plan go through, the stocks on insurance companies skyrocketed and respond to that. Now they've got an interesting opportunity where they've now got a monopoly and they don't have to uh, allow Americans to buy across state lines. We never did that. The other big victor that nobody's talking about is the trial attorneys that will continue to take huge portions of health care money in uh, lawsuits and able to continue to um, sort of pick off the big money off the system without providing critical health care. Those are the two things that uh, Washington refused to touch, the monopolies of the insurance companies and the racketeering of, of uh, lawyers who are suing into the system. Okay, without those two things being addressed by people in Washington, all of these promises about you, everybody's going to be covered forever just isn't going to work out. We're going to have a system that is going to crash. Uh, in the near future, and then everybody will say, well, it's just that we didn't raise enough taxes. Well, that being said, Mitt Romney has already come out. He says he wants to repeal this, and he wants the help of you and, and the other colleagues uh, in, in Congress. But will the Republicans now put a plan on the table, some kind of alternative to so-called Obamacare? Because those of us out here, we need choices. What are the choices? Well, absolutely. I mean, the fact is, is that we... We, the first choice is for us to do our work and get to those two items that are that are impacting the cost of of having health insurance. Giving uh, you know we got to break up the monopoly. You and I are not allowed to buy uh, insurance outside of California and go to where we get the best price. And the fact that um, we've got to get the lawyers out of the operating room. It is kind of absurd that somebody on Medicaid has more right to sue their physician than a Marine serving his country. And in California, we have Micra, which has really helped, even in an expensive state like California, our, our OBGYNs um, spent half as much money on insurance as somebody in Florida, and you know the cost of living in California is much higher. We need to do more of that across the board, and especially Californians should not be subsidizing other states that haven't done the type of tort reform that we have done. We need to bring down yeah. the cost of providing health care to make it affordable before we can think we can promise more. What's yeah. happened is Washington is quick on making promises, quick on raising taxes, and short on delivering the tough things like tort reform and uh, competitive insurance policies. Well, the conversation certainly uh, has shifted tonight, Congressman, from legality to now what we're going to do about the, uh, the Health Care Reform Act and, of course, the uh, political ramifications this fall. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We appreciate your input. Thank you very much. It's an honor.